Today we review the Disney classic from 1964, Mary Poppins, and this is for Harry Movie Club. So Mary Poppins is certainly a family film, uh, but this time through watching it, I had seen it when I was a child, and I'd say it was one of my favorite childhood movies. This time watching it, though, now that I'm older, there's a lot more uh, undertones that you miss when you're a child, or you don't even understand, like, it's set in 1910, so the whole suffrage movement is in full effect in women's liberation and you can really see it when Mrs. Banks played by Glennis Jones at the beginning is like dancing around with the maids and then Mr. Banks comes home David Tomlinson and they have to stop because Mr. Banks then goes into his song about how it's, he's the ruler of his kingdom and it's his domain and he goes through his routine about how every day he goes home at 6 right on the dot and then 6.02 and then he even acts like his kids are there, doesn't even notice that they're not there, which is kind of just, he spawned them, but <laughs> doesn't really care. And I really like their dynamic between Mr. and Mrs. Banks. Uh, when the new nanny, Mary Poppins, is chosen, Mr. Banks says, oh, she's gone to the nursery, whatever, I sent her straight off. And Mrs. Banks is like, I definitely would have muddled that one up. <laughs> and I don't know, it's great. I think it kind of made it believable that they'd still be together. Well, it's 1910, so she probably couldn't get away. But I think if it was nowadays and he started acting like that, she would have left his ass with the kids. But the real stars of this movie are the children, Jane and Michael Banks. Uh, Jane is played by Karen Dotrice, and Michael is played by Matthew Garber. And I think their performances were really great uh, when they're trying to make their own advertisement or advertisement for a nanny that they're looking for. And he chimes in with his little things like, I put that in there. I like that. And in this, Dick Van Dyke is great, too. I didn't even realize that he played also the uh, Mr. Dawes Sr., the old bank guy, until I looked this up. So, really good there. He totally acted different, and they did great with the makeup. Mary Poppins, I didn't even talk about her. Mary Poppins is played by Julie Andrews, and she's wonderful in this. She has the rosy cheeks, and it's just great. And it, I think the casting for this was superb, and I really hope that they never remake it. It's 50 years old this year. And it's fine. It's a classic, and don't touch it. The movie is great for children. It's two hours, actually over two hours. And back when I was a kid, I remember sitting and watching this for the whole time. I don't know what's happened, but I really don't think kids nowadays have the two-hour attention span. However, the way that they do this movie is uh, great, because it does jump around from a lot of different scenes, and there's a lot of loud noises. Dick Van Dyke just walking at the beginning is like his whole one-man band. And then the vivid colors are great, and it's fantastic. I really just can't give enough praises for Mary Poppins. Um, I'm really glad I rewatched it because even now it's a movie you can't be sad after listening to it. It's a really good movie to pick you up if you're having like a down day, even because you start hearing the songs and they're just catchy. And also, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. When I was a kid, that was like a great song just to sing, but then I was thinking about it now, and the spoonful of sugar after she talks about it is really a metaphor, and the medicine is like a hard job, and the spoonful of sugar is trying to find joy in it, because she speaks before about cleaning the nursery, and how you just have to find something to like, so a spoonful of sugar does help the medicine go down, it's such a better metaphor now that I've grown up. There are some like, just things that I put think they put in there for the kids, um, like, I don't remember his name, but the guy that has the ship house, and the fact that, like, there's the running joke about when it's uh, going to be 6 o'clock, whenever, right on the dot, you need to get to the places and hold your china, um, which I think is a great gag. So I think by now you can tell from my raving that Mary Poppins from 1964 is definitely a keep. So this was for Hashtag Harry Movie Club. Mr. Harry Britt is the curator of it, and he's almost at 2,000 subscribers, so check him out, and if you like what you see, definitely subscribe, get him there. You can reach me at MadLFan on Twitter, comment down below, uh, use hashtag TodayWeReview on Twitter so I can find it easier, and thanks for watching this Today We Review. It's set in 1910, so there's the whole suffragette group. It's set in 1910, so there's the whole suffragette. It's set in 1910, so the whole suffragette.